breakfast. I'll right. have you to know I won three letters in Wait high school. Wait a minute. I'll have you to know I got another paragraph. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> and besides, what do you know about athletics? I'll have you to know I won three letters in high school. Yeah. P and an I and a G. <laughs> you so ignorant. You probably don't even know what a pup. You probably don't even know what a what what is a shot pot is. <laughs> one is, there's an old rusty one sitting on your neck. <laughs> you can insult me all you want, but I'm still not leaving my place in line. <laughs> Please, honey, don't cry. You're getting water all over your fat. <laughs> all over your face. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, Harvey. I don't know if anyone ever told you this before, but you look, but you look actually like the guy hey, on the television hard. who's always on a big foot. <laughs> <laughs> on the big feet. On the big fight, I'm sorry. <laughs> People tell me I look like Thank you. People tell me I look like him. I've heard that before. Yes, you look ex exactly like Harvey Howard Carousel. <laughs> Howard Carousel? No, Howard the Carousel. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That was my joke. That's right. What did you say? <laughs> oh, yeah, good, because, because I've never hit a woman before. <laughs> well, I think before. this gets, it's going about as far as it can go. <laughs> I'd like to do something now that I haven't had a chance to do in five years on television, and that's to let you get to know a little bit more about me. I'm talking about Red Fox the Man. So while they're setting up backstage for the next number, I'd like to take a few questions. Uh, you, sir. Mr. Fox. Uh, pardon me, dear. It's a little dark in here. I made a mistake. Excuse me. <laughs> What's the real reason you left Sanford and Son? The real reason I left Sanford and Son? Well, I've never said this before, and I, and I know it's going to cause a lot of trouble, but the real reason I left Sanford and Son because those lousy bastards over there, they took and made me no kind of money, no <laughs> money at all. <laughs> Neither one of you. <laughs> Pretty girl there. Okay, um, I'm Danny Sinden from Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to know, is that your real hair? Yes. I'd like to know, though your real tits. <laughs> The faucet. <laughs> Good evening. Before we meet tonight's guest, I'd like to say, Fair Faucet. <laughs> yes, honey. My name is Nancy Dick, and I'm from San. Nancy what? Nancy Dick. Nancy Dick. <laughs> She said that's her name! <laughs> well, you 
want me to do? Change it? I'll leave it. Uh, we'll start from the beginning. Uh, what's your name, dear? Nancy Dick. <laughs> What, what's your question then, Miss Dick? I want to know what DeMond Wilson's going to do without you on Sanford and Sons. Well, I think he's going to do without me. <laughs> I'm not going over there. Sammy White said Sanford arms only lasted up to the wrist. <laughs> no, I'm over here. You know, and uh, we're happy here. We got a good relationship. I, I think everybody, the crew and the cast and the secretaries and, the, and the, whoever it is, we got good feelings here, good vibes. Who gives a shit? <laughs> they call me a shithead. <laughs> Bullshit. You can't say shit on this show. <laughs> You are a shithead. <laughs> you ma. You ma. You mother father. You ma. You ma. You. Hey, folks, I'm sorry about this whole thing. Really. But uh, do me one favor, will you? Will you, will you hold on to your tickets? and then we'll honor them as rain checks on a future show, all right? And I'm not a shithead. <laughs> it is saying that uh, you expected full support from the Ugandan people, but now this didn't materialize. Uh, Dr. Nakura, um, do you attribute this to the fact that the Ogonans are terrified of Dr. Amin, or perhaps uh, he's more popular than you'd like to admit? The difference between Dr. Me and myself is that he is a cannibal, and I am a veterinary. <laughs> Did you say that Idi Amin was a cannibal and that you were a vegetarian? Well, did you? Speak up. Yeah. <laughs> you know whether or not, are you a vegetarian or a veterinarian? I'm a vegetarian. Well, you just said you were a veterinarian. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, Miss Solomon, what? I'm sure he can't. <laughs> Today's new man. <laughs> no, I'm sure he can't. <laughs> I, I got it. No, I'm sure he can't. Today's newsmaker was Dr. Nakuru of Uganda. In studying Mr. Lance's uh, alleged misuse of bank funds, it appears he borrowed money from two separate banks during the same period using the same collateral. Does this seem proper? The, the allegation besmirred the integrity and dedication of this unblemished civil service. Besides, the sucker still owed me $100. <laughs> When President Carter ran for office, he promised an administration of honesty and candor. Doesn't this dedication to Mr. Lance seem to put that promise in question? Hell! Even if, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Even if, uh, Lance is one of the president's best friends. 
Hell, what are friends for? My best friend is a bookie, a hustler, a Shylock. Why he is, he he would be in, in jail today if he wasn't a judge. <laughs> Okay. Triple X, this is not anything dirty, like really what it's you It's not do. dirty, is it? Well, not that you can put your hands on. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, humor and adult humor. As long as it's not dirty. It's everybody's done a knock knock. Okay, we'll do a knock. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> well, this is it just him and I? You, you <laughs> know. I think they're all these Ethiopians. <laughs> oh, don't say it. Don't say it. Aim it right. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> you improve your condition? Mm hmm. <laughs> Now, here are some of the cast members who have helped make this a memorable season. Joe Marie Payton. Billy Saluga. Al Smith. Billy Barty. Iron Jaw Wilson. H.B. Haggerty. And Red's dear friend, Slappy White.